If you're torn between making spice-filled baked apples or your favorite apple pie, this old-fashioned Pennsylvania Dutch recipe might just be the perfect solution for the best of both worlds, apple dumplings. We're choosing a really nice firm apple for the dumpling. Peel the apples, leaving the stem intact, and we are going to core them partially. This recipe is for six apples, and we're going to bake the apples for approximately an hour. So now use a good apple core like this, and just go about three quarters of the way up the apple, and pull that out, and hopefully all of the seeds too. Excellent. All done. Now get these sugared and seasoned into a baking dish. And I'm leaving this on because that's part of the charm of the entire dumpling. And in a bowl, a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar mixed with six tablespoons of dark raisins, some cinnamon, one teaspoon of cinnamon, the zest of one lemon. Now notice I've taken it off in strips. That has a little bit of texture to the apples. And four tablespoons of room temperature softened butter. And this whole mixture gets inserted right into those hollowed out cores of the apples. Take a little bit of this mixture and insert it into each apple. This adds a tremendous amount of flavor in the apple and it's a surprise to the person who's eating the apple. And you see it goes very easily and quickly. Oh, I missed the seeds in that one. Just use a little quarter teaspoon measuring spoon and dig them out. See, there are some seeds left in here by mistake. Using an offset spatula like this is by far the most efficient way of filling the cavity. There. So, three tablespoons of water. Put the apples right into a 350 degree oven and bake for one hour. And then let these apples cool completely and then you're ready to make the dumplings. Now comes the fun part. On a lightly floured surface, roll your dough, and this is a third of a recipe of pâte brisée. Roll it into an 8 by 14 inch rectangle. Out of this rectangle, we'll get two triangles for two apples. So there, that's pretty much what we're looking for. And I have cut out a 9 inch equilateral triangle. And you should be able to get two triangles out of this rectangle of dough. So practice up on your geometry skills, bakers, and delight in the fact that you can still remember something of the eighth grade or ninth grade whenever you took geometry. Save these big scraps because these will be your decorative leaves. And there we have two perfect triangles, and these should be transferred immediately to a baking sheet and chilled again. I want to show you how to cut out some pretty leaves. So using a straight side of your cutter, make leaves that look like they belong on an apple tree. To vein the leaves, just take your knife and make little veins with the back of the knife. And all of this is fun. And if you find you're stressing out, just turn on some nice music or put on a fun movie. Chill these too look just like the apple leaves on my trees. So, two things before we start assembling. Make an egg wash of a tablespoon or so of heavy cream and one large egg yolk. That's the wash that goes on the outside. Pick the apple of your choice, and you put that right in the middle, and brush the edges of the triangle with water. This help stick the pastry together. And then lift this up. Keep a little flour handy and just pinch and abut the dough, pushing it together like that. Leave the top points open to expose the stem. So cute. You can egg wash it now the first time. 
and then again after you chill. This will give a beautiful golden brown crust. Preheat at this point your oven to 400 degrees. Now your beautiful leaves, put some egg on the back, and these get stuck right on your dumpling. So now I am just finishing egg washing all six dumplings, which can actually fit on one baking sheet on parchment. Don't forget the parchment paper. Have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. A second little touch up of the glaze will ensure an even brownness to your crust and you want it nice and brown and right in the oven 25 to 35 minutes so this is almost too pretty to eat don't you think what a wonderful dessert it is one of the most charming and most delicious ways to serve an apple enjoy